Hello, you've caught me wearing my Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes jacket that I got when I went to Japan recently. I don't know if you heard about that. I only mentioned it a few times on Twitter. Here, 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 and here. More important than my online ego building, however, was the fact I played Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes for ages and interviewed my childhood heroes Hideo Kojima and Yoji Shinkawa, which you can see elsewhere on the channel. Today is all about stealth, though. A lot has been said about Metal Gear Solid 5's new open world leanings and how they affect the core mechanics of hiding in bushes and punching men from behind, and for once, the PR rhetoric hasn't been exaggerated. As a man who's obsessively played Metal Gear Solid games for over 15 years now, the changes were immediately apparent. No longer can you perch at the end of a linear corridor, watch as an enemy traces a predetermined patrol route, and then sneak past in time for tea and rations. There's no soliton radar, no camouflage index, no magic vibrating ring to notify you when a guard is coming. In short, Ground Zeroes takes away the stealth stabilizers and prods you into its brave new world like a tough loving parent. The new way to keep a bead on patrols is to whip out Snake's binoculars and tag them. This helps you get a mental image of where everyone is stationed, the terrain, and your targets. If you try and play it like a traditional Metal Gear game, however, i.e. sneak through really quietly and snap everyone's neck, you're going to come up against problems. You need to learn not to look at guards as obstacles, but as tools. Hold them up and they can give you information. Get one to call for backup and you've created a diversion. Tranquilize one and you've got a live khaki alternative to the old swimsuit magazines from previous games, although I really hope those are still in the Phantom Pain. You can listen in on conversations too, using the information to mark ammo caches or important characters on your map. It's less about sneaking and more about getting creative with your environment and using it to manage where you want enemies to be. You could blow up a guard tower to corral enemies into a specific location, turn a truck into a makeshift bomb and jam a mission critical door open in the process. It's all about tinkering with your tool set and thinking outside the old model of get from point A to point B while avoiding enemy C. It's exciting, tense and immersive and you can try it for yourself when Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes hits PS3 and PS4 on March the 20th. To see our video interview with Hideo Kojima and Yoji Shinkawa and for loads of Ace content across PS4, PS3 and PS Vita, don't forget to subscribe.